easy. And that's how it goes. You never ever know about the NWO. All right, I'm deep behind enemy lines for December 1st, 2020. It's a little after 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Oh, yeah. Somebody's unhappy deep down below. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's the, uh, the graves are rolling over this... The dead are coming to life after an intense earthquake swarm rattles a Nevada ghost town cemetery. Today's top headlines, more earth changes and geopolitical upheaval. And another update to the New World Order from the No Link News Desk. Move over, Harp Tard. You'll not see this earthquake news or earthquake prediction from Doomsday Dumbass disinfo, Dutchie's magic 3D earthquake crystal ball first. So in case you miss it, or you want to wait around for sloppy seconds from dumbass doomsday disinfo, Dutchie. Let's get to the science of things today. Yeah, we're going to talk about some doom. But uh, back in 1998, I listened to the radio show all coast to coast AM with Art Bell who coincidentally uh, broadcast uh, right out of Pahrump, Nevada, right near this earthquake swarm. <laughs> that occurred, man, had a big one, you know. Uh, needless to say, this area has been quite active seismic-wise over the last uh, six-plus months. Of my ob observations, I've been wanting to make a video on all this stuff, but Back in 1998, I was listening to the radio show Coast to Coast AM and stumbled upon Mitch Petros' space weather earthquake forecast equation. And it went something like this. You see, um, the galaxy sun earth connection is, is how he basically made the concept that the cosmic rays, known as charged particles, the highly energetic radioactive energy that is released from the sun. So the sun, his equation went like this. Sunspots trigger solar flares. Solar flares trigger the Earth's magnetic field to weaken. A weakened Earth's magnetic field triggers shifting ocean stream currents and shifting jet stream currents. Shifting jet stream currents and shifting ocean stream currents trigger extreme weather and human disruption. So, now, bringing it into the mix, transitioning back to the scene, I want to bring you up to date. Yeah, this uh, ghost town. Before we get into it, yeah, this ghost town in Nevada. Looks like a plea from each of us, the silent majority, is <laughs> making the earth uh, rattle like a drum. Yeah, out here, I wonder if the Indians are sending smoke signals right now. Wondering what the hell is going on in this ancient mining town. No one's alive no more here, no doubt about it. There are no volcanoes, Doomsday Dumbass Disinfo Dutchie, but something below, deep down in the ground, <laughs> is definitely coming to life once again. So here we are in the town of Nevada. And are you ready? 
the Candelaria Cemetery at the bottom in the valley of the Candelaria Mountain Range. Where over a hundred earthquakes have been recorded in the last few hours. Latest preliminary earthquake shows, yes, that this uh, ground is shaking here in Mena, Nevada, just 24 kilometers south of Mena, Nevada. Let's zoom in here at the map right now. see why this cemetery like I said and this earthquake swarm where over a hundred earthquakes in the last few hours have rattled this ghost town Yes, in the last 24 hours, I recorded 117 earthquakes that began somewhere back here at approximately 9.51 universal time. At 9.51 a.m. universal time, which we, we've had this back Wind it back and get it into the mix. In five hours would be 5 a.m. And take three hours off of that. So at approximately 2 a.m. this morning, this earthquake swarm in central Nevada, western central Nevada, has let go and created quite of attention. Quite a lot of attention, my fault. Yes, we're right here, see? An old mining town, deep, deep, digging down deep, deep down below. This mining town is a ghost town next in, and right below, right next to it is a western ghost town and cemetery. So here we go, we're gonna go in here, show you and apply the animation and uh, bring it a loop. I mean, all these earthquakes didn't start till uh, later the day, I mean, early this morning. Huh, that's strange. Here we go. Well, I guess I'll have other satellite views since it's obviously there's a glitch going on. Refresh the browser. This uh, Iris Earthquake browser is a little bit more detailed than Dutchie's Magic 3D Earthquake Crystal Ball because it'll uh, animate every earthquake that is recorded over time. To give you an animation, once again, we'll go to the, the map. It'll probably be a little easier. But each one of these purple dots indicates the earthquake, the intensity of these earthquakes, and when they started. There was none early this morning, and then about halfway through the day, the earthquake swarm begun. It like popcorn popping in a popcorn popper. Looks like somebody using drumsticks on a drum skin drum, too. Below it looks like this earthquake swarm is located just a little west of Highway 95, just north of Columbus, but this is an old mining ghost town. 
Well, let's make this loop work once again. As you are, so once was I. As I am, soon you will be. It's no doubt about this mysterious earthquake swarm in Nevada ghost town. We're looking at about 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers, 4 kilometers, 0.1 kilometers. So these are very several different uh, depths of the 117 earthquakes listed by the USGS today. Um, many of them, like I said, are located in this uh, ancient silver mining town. Doomsday dumbass touchy. <laughs> What's going on down deep below this... Uh, Candelaria Cemetery, huh? I never know. Patriot Broadcasting and Liberty Tree Radio Field Reporter number 8510. And as always, God bless the Republic. Death to the New World Order. We are on the march. The Empire is on the run. We shall prevail. <laughs>